Hello, my name is Prime, and welcome back to this episode of ATS Showcases, and welcome to Texarkana. Yes, we are here up in Texarkana, and we're heading down to just outside of Houston, hauling these vehicles on the revised car hauler trailer. Of course, this is not an ownable trailer, unfortunately, but it is in the freight market, and there's a few different variations, and it does look quite nice. Overall, some extra details spotted around, and uh, I do appreciate the revision to it. We are driving this Western Star 49X with the power hood option today, but just in the day cab configuration, I think it looks really quite nice. Let's go ahead and get it started up. It's got a DD-15 in it today, and let's get on the road. Good old DD-15 sounds. There are no engine mods, or any mods for that matter, in this video today. Hopefully everyone is doing well. I certainly am. Of course, this is on 1.48 open beta for American Truck Simulator. Uh, depending on when you watch this video, maybe 1.48 is out in all its glory. Or maybe you're watching this way down the line, and hopefully this video has found you well, no matter what time you may watch it. And uh, I am definitely enjoying myself here in 1.48, and uh, of course with the different content tent around here and I guess I should actually go back to the map here and just look at the amount of roads that are around here in Texas now keep this in mind I this is my beta testing save so I haven't discovered as many roads in here as possible but if I go up to the mainly the northeastern side from what I can tell look at the roads that are getting prepped and have been added in for Oklahoma which is coming right here and fun fact when I was looking through some of the menus you can actually see Oklahoma with a name tag on it over its spot there which is very nice to see because recently SC Solver has actually published the very first gameplay video for Oklahoma it is something that we've been waiting for for such a long time now and I'm so happy to finally have that uh, kind of out in the realms there for everyone to see and I'm def I was definitely very excited uh, to watch that 15 minute video uh, oh what's that car doing there just having a little dance party in the <laughs> nosedive much. Oh, look at him go. Um, gravity is um, a little funky over here in Texarkana. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about that one. Oh, that was interesting. Ah, cool stuff. Uh, but nonetheless, keep in mind, this is 1.48 open beta. There may be some slight issues. Uh, nonetheless, it is great to have in Oklahoma a gameplay video, though, that is official and maybe there'll be more we don't really know at this point but going off the past record of or the track record i should say of the other dlcs this is a very good sign my friends if you haven't followed other dlc releases in the past uh well then just to fill you in <laughs> basically whenever you get a official gameplay video from SCS software uh, that means that we are nearing the launch of the dlc and when i say nearing we're talking maybe a month out or so, possibly even earlier, uh, within weeks of a release date is the general trend. Uh, so that's always very nice to see. Obviously, the route looked quite amazing. We don't know if we'll get more deliveries or not. Sometimes they'll just release one. Sometimes there will be multiple. For the Texas DLC, as far as I can remember, there were a couple, possibly one main one. But I know past DLCs, there's been a few gameplay videos um, or just one depending on the size and depending on what's going on. For Oklahoma, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just the one, but I would also welcome a couple more or one more even, showing off some of the different areas, and I would not complain about that one. Decided to drive the Western Star once again, the 49X with the power hood. I will do some of the other trucks uh, moving forward again, but I had to give it uh, its fair shot in both the top of the line trim, which I did in the 1.48 open beta first look video uh, that I did just days ago. Oh, finally discovered Texarkana. You may have noticed um, on the map at the beginning for those with a keen eye, and I'll get back to where I was going with the Western Star 49X in a second, so just hang on to my little tangent here. Um, you may have noticed it wasn't discovered. Sometimes, and I don't know if you guys have found that, if you are moving around the map, let's say in a um, maybe not complete legit, legit manner, um, aka the uh, developer console, <laughs> sorry, um, but sometimes when you do that, you'll teleport to a city, you'll land, and you can drive around all you want. It will not discover the city for the life of itself, and it makes it very difficult to choose a job um, that you actually want. Um, when you can't, well, go into the freight market and see overall. Now, there is a little bit of a 
kind of, I guess I'll go into a little bit of backstory setting up this video because it was a definite challenge. I will not lie about that one. I spent quite a bit of time trying to get this delivery out of Texarkana uh, somewhere else in Texas that kind of went on some of the other newer roads that have been added or at very least just, well, out of Texarkana. That was the biggest thing was the car haulers. Uh, but basically you can go into the you know the count content browser uh, where you'd have like the trucks and the trailers you can look at all the different options you can also have there's recently have been added the different cargos and uh, the company browser is what it's called you can go in and see what cargos and well different companies are in the different cities all across the map whether you have them uh, the cities unlocked or not so this made it very uh, well in this case i used it a lot but in this case it made it basically essential uh, to be able to do this delivery for this video because I ended up going in there going to Texarkana and then seeing what company ended up well was the one behind the cars that would actually give or receive uh, the car delivery that was very handy because then I could just go to that uh, that company spot go to the green icon and select it and just wait until I have a delivery um, Also known as fast forward a few days that we won't talk about that just kind of went into the abyss on this save uh, Nonetheless, though, so, uh, we got the delivery. That's all that matters and the 49x decided to go a day cab configuration Although still a really nice trim of the day cab configuration I thought I think it were uh, I personally feel it works really well with the car haulers and Going off of a lot of the trucks I see IRL that do haul these cars, they're generally not sleepers. And if they are, they're kind of just the mid, the mid roof sleepers, uh, not the full on, uh, well, extended sleepers. Let's just call it at that. It's nice to discover some of these other roads here in Texas. Of course, this is going to be merging in and around some of the Texas content that has come in. There have been a bunch of revisions to Texas overall. Um, I will say it's slightly hard on this save to judge what exactly roads, what exactly are the roads that have been um, redone in the areas. But I can say that, for example, the road we're on right now, or at least we have been, has been all new from what I can remember and also recall. Got a little bit of traffic here. Um, but then at the same time, you know, there's the, the various areas that were just, I haven't explored as well. My normal ATS showcase save would have been a bit easier, but I have, I, I have, I do have a feeling that, you know, the areas of Dallas that are on this map, it kind of has been reset on some of the, uh, on, on some of the options or the, I should say the discoverability percentage, just because, well, they made changes. I'm pretty sure they added some intersections and, uh, various things. I know there is a tri-stack intersection. I believe that's Houston. Is it Houston or Dallas? I can't remember. Um, one of the two. Um, there was a few things and major highways added as well. There was a lot of roads, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it was uh, definitely a, a cool update. I'm going to go ahead through this light. We got to make some time. It's a longer delivery today uh, because as I was kind of mentioning there took a long time to get this delivery to work and i guess we'll sit at this light we'll take we'll take this light we won't uh, run through it but uh, no it's uh, there's a lot of content here in in texas that has been added and of course now we're getting oklahoma as well and a lot of the roads that have been added to texas as i kind of mentioned on the map just earlier from what i can tell more in the northeastern section which would kind of make sense given where uh, oklahoma and then well i guess that would move up through to Kansas, uh, kind of all sit in, well, would be utilized. Nonetheless, so it's a, it's great to have new Texas DLC content. For those who do own the Texas, Texas DLC, I should say. Um, unfortunately, if you don't own the Texas DLC, what I'm driving on in this delivery and uh, what I'm talking about, you unfortunately can't experience other than through these videos, which is why I like to go all around the map uh, to kind of also, well, hence the name of the series, showcase uh, the different areas. So just in case you're considering to purchase a DLC or multiple, you can see what you you should be expecting if you want to do that, or you can just witness it for yourself whenever you choose a delivery uh, and for that matter, pick up a DLC. Well, let's get back on the highway and make up some time here. It is definitely going to be well, what I feel would be one of the longer deliveries, at least mile-wise, that I've done in some time. I'm going to do my best to uh, keep the speeds up a little bit because um, I want this to get out to you guys sooner than later. And to be honest, uh, I don't like rushing things, and I'm not going to do that purposely. I'm going to do a fair balance of it. 
but I do have to kind of balance, you know, lengths of a video uh, versus just the actual enjoyment as, of it as well. I like the longer hauls, don't get me wrong, but I know for a lot of people watching it, um, it, it can sometimes get, well, let's face it, a little bit boring. But the longer hauls have their place, and I will be doing longer haul series that were maybe all in one. I'll do maybe one massive video just full send it quite literally on that delivery and then maybe I'll do some that are um, well split up for those who have been around the channel for quite some time way when I was well I don't even know how many subscribers would I had but a fraction of what I have now which thank you by the way um, it is <laughs> I did the long haul series which was kind of part of my um, my, my prime logistics and also into the ATS showcase I believe a few times um, that was a kind of a cool series uh, because it was able to uh, give me the opportunity to well uh, explore a lot or, or do these long deliveries, but cover a lot of ground at the same time, um, which was really cool. But it split it up into multiple episodes, uh, so obviously there wasn't any variety between the trucks while doing it. I believe it was actually my Prime Logistics series, the ATS one, that I did do a lot of that content in, and that's where it fit well. Um, but None that saying that, I want to bring that back, whether it's ATS showcases or maybe I revive um, Prime Logistics. I really wanted to quite some time ago. I just never ended up doing it. I just didn't feel um, based on some of the other content that I was wanting to do and my time restraints. I didn't feel like it was the best use of a time for that sake, but it doesn't mean that it was a picture. Um, you know, at all. I think the thing is about ATS showcases is that I get spoiled in having a lot of variety in trucks and the freedom of doing that. Whereas the the Prime Logistics series is very much more locked in. It's a progression um, sense, and you know, I've, I've got to manage more. I really enjoy doing that, but also for the sake of doing the videos as well. And with the development cycle here of ATS in particular, I want to do more on ETS2 as well, but. For the time I have, uh, at least currently, trying to keep up with American Truck Simulator is a difficult enough job, believe it or not. Um, I know a lot of, there are quite a few people that have uh, various feelings on, you know, the speed of the updates coming and how it wrecks mods and stuff like that. And they don't want to update um, to the newest version because they have to wait till the mods all get updated or most of them do at very least. And that's almost the same feeling in some ways that I can have, but just in terms of the amount of content that keeps coming out um, and that I want to uncover, and I don't want to make it sound like I'm complaining or anything. I'm not. Um, I really enjoy what I'm doing, but there's another side to it that a lot of people don't understand. So when, you know, sometimes um, newer people, which rightfully so, will say, you know, like, why don't you do this and that? And it's like, well, I really want to. Do I have time to do it? Maybe not, because there are some things that I really enjoy doing in the certain series that uh, do quite well and you guys enjoy I enjoy doing a lot that become kind of more the bread and the butter of the channel and dropping those uh, it's not necessary well, not a smart thing to do for myself because I really enjoy making them and also for you guys as well because you guys really enjoy doing it so it's a fine act but I think things are going to be getting a lot better in the future here and we don't have to worry about that really at all um, and I'm going to be able to balance stuff a lot more that is what I'm hoping for and I guess we'll see how that all turns out but kind of touching on how uh, the channel is going thank you guys so much for the continued support I can't say it enough there are I mean so many countless countless new people joining the channel the prime timer community every single day it means so much to me and uh, I do appreciate all the support uh, again channels on an upward trend I keep saying it uh, and I mean I'm not just saying it you could probably watch it if you keep checking back in on the channel every couple days the the numbers just keep rolling up and up and up and uh, it's it's incredible to see incredible to see thank you guys so much and uh, it's only up from here it's really only up from here I'm gonna continue learning gonna keep working hard and it's all going to pay off uh, and it already is to be honest with you uh, I do appreciate all the support, whether it's just watching the videos, monetary support, the whole the whole nine yards. So thank you so much. Cool opportunities coming as well. Um, there's a few things that have been kind of working behind the scenes. I know I've said behind the scenes stuff coming. Trust me, 
There's quite a few cool things. A few things have already been implemented. A few people have picked them out. Those good old keeners, good old prime timer keeners, those detectives, they are so good at finding some stuff. And I like to kind of throw these little things in around the channel just ever so slightly just to, um, you know, spice things up a little bit and give you something to take a look around at. Uh, but also those who have uh, taken the, well, you know, wondering what's happening with Prime Plus and Prime Clicks. Um, Prime Plus is very much a side, you know, just a side extra channel thing. Subscribe to it if you want. Don't know how often I'll be doing videos on it, uh, but there are some things coming up in terms of game releases, especially that will do mainly over there or at least extra stuff and um, to be honest it's just kind of the extra channel anyways and I want to just have it set up uh, so then in the future I'm even more free to do stuff on that prime clips I've got more of a schedule planning uh, planned for that uh, so that guy will start to kind of go out a bit more but the shorts on prime simulation has been going over so well uh, that I decided I'm deciding just to continue with that uh, periodically or a couple times a week depending on what clips I have available and if I can uh, get them prepared which they don't take long but even still um, those have been doing really well and you guys have been really enjoying that one uh, so I'm going to continue doing that it's kind of just extra content I mean why not to be honest and uh, Prime Clips is going to just end up having almost like the data log of those uh, plus some other kind of longer form clips and sections oh looks like some horses cool stuff oh keep it on the road there prime keep it on the road eyes on the road it's always a good thing to do <laughs> but no there's all cool things are happening around the channel um a couple things that are going to be implemented very soon that kind of going to be game changers just saying so keep an eye out here and if you haven't joined the prime timer community already i mean i don't normally plug but why don't you go ahead and subscribe it's free if you have a google account i don't know you can do what you like like subscribe i don't know that whole ordeal that kind of you know occasionally gets annoying or i say occasionally often gets annoying but it's kind of the quote-unquote youtube culture um <laughs> it's just the way it is um but i don't like to do it it's annoying to me if i keep watching something and someone's yelling in my face um to do stuff basically not my style maybe it works for you know a bunch of people who don't have a ton of attention span or just really young ones but why is there a, a truck honking why it's it's just turned green he's sitting like eight feet or i say eight feet probably 12 feet back from the back of my trailer was there an issue back there i don't know what the, i don't even know what truck was honking Dang, weird you gotta love it Anyways, I like to do things a little differently uh, than the kind of standard, you know, YouTube-esque people. Um, and that's the way I roll. I think a lot of you do appreciate that. Seems to be almost something common across the simulation gaming community. Every se everyone seems to be more relaxed in terms of that and uh, not, you know, in-your-face obnoxious, which... I do appreciate, and maybe that's just the genre, and that's kind of the class, I don't want to say class of people, but I think you understand where I'm getting at. Um, it just seems to be something I've noticed, kind of a general trend, and uh, although I guess I could be the odd one out occasionally, um, in terms of, you know, if I were to say it, I don't know. I used to do it way back when, like really way back when, um, when I first started, because again, that's all I kind of knew about YouTube, but... Uh, not doing it anymore and i'm glad i stopped that that's for sure so 1.48 what are my thoughts let's just go ahead and go through that well i think that the update is actually quite nice um you know i will admit maybe not the, the most um i don't want to say rich p uh, feature packed update because we have had a bunch of new content for texas new oversized um like new oversized load hauls routes two of them one in montana one here in texas um of course a bunch of other cool things new well new city intros for washington uh the washington dlc uh, you know kind of the works around there but the reason why i say you know maybe not as much in terms of the general update itself is because unless if you have the texas dlc the washington dlc the montana dlc you're missing out a lot on this update um, like if you don't have any of those DLCs, you're, you're getting a little bit more, you know, stretch for what this deal or this, what this update, sorry, actually brings for you. Um, you know, it has the UI changes, um, and I feel like I'm missing another one 
uh, that wasn't um, kind of a DLC dependent one. Uh, so I'm sorry, mind blanking right now. Prime can only have so much information up in the brain right now. Um, <laughs> the interwinding web of Prime brain is kind of at its max capacity right now until I offload some webbage. <laughs> offload some uh, information webbage uh, from some of the Prime news that has been happening recently. So much content I've been pumping out, but it's, I've been enjoying it so much. Unfortunately, I've had the time to do it as well, which... Um, really works but yeah the intertangled web of prime is definitely uh, getting even more tangled with all these new news things that come out so um i apologize for forgetting that but my point is um if you don't have those dlcs which i know a lot of people don't have a bunch of the extra map dlcs you don't really get a whole lot for this update and i would argue that some of the past ones like 1.40 i do believe when we got you know the massive lighting change uh across ats and ats2 those to, those updates to me are the ones that are major. Um, that that feature in alone basically make or break, made that update just fantastic. Let alone the other things, you know, getting new trailers and stuff like that. The things that everyone can enjoy, no matter what um, what what DLC they may have. Um, although I'm not complaining. Face it. We get a bunch of new stuff free for the games constantly. Those ATS and ETS too. Uh, these updates come like it or not quite frequently and um I, I i enjoy that give some variety there as well but ultimately we get a lot of free stuff for the price of the game and given some i'm gonna just uh hunker down behind this car here uh given some of the you know depending on when you purchase ats or ets2 there are some the mighty fine deals that come on for the games especially during like the various main steam sales uh, or upon certain releases, SA Software puts their games on for a very nice price. Um, and, or, or at least Steam, well, I don't know how that whole realm works, but even still, the prices are quite nice uh, for the games. Like, we're talking, you know, sub $10 at times, and, um, or often, and you get a lot now for that. Um, of course, you have to buy the extra DLCs, so whether they're specialty uh, DLCs of, you know, um, some content of you know a, a paint skin or mainly the map dlcs um all the main functionality of an update happens well i'm not making this mistake again i'm going this way i'm not making the mistake again i'm doing the u-turn on the interchange not doing that again people i've done it before I'm not doing it again but uh, you get a lot as i could have just said that and been over with it but you know good old primism got to keep going on it i mean you get a lot and so for th when this game comes on sale now i think a lot of us can agree that you can it's a quite steal of a deal and you get again these feature updates you get a lot and uh, so even these updates for example 1.48 plenty of cool things don't get me wrong but if you don't own the dlcs you know you may not be getting a bunch of you know overly useful free content oh the revised trailer like what i've got on there we go that finally untangling the web a little bit um the revised car hauler that's another thing that if you don't own a dlc you know at least you can enjoy um again it's one of those things there there are some limiting factors there um it's great for people who have all the dlcs i'm very fortunate to be one of those but not everyone can do that uh, not everyone wants to do that and uh, that's perfectly fine there's no issue there but some updates for some people are going to be more beneficial than others and that's just the way it rolls but for me 1.48 long story short and this has been a very long story short another good old primism moment um i i feel it's a good update i think it over the quite a few well a few years now geez time has flies uh hope that i've been doing youtube uh, and covering stuff um at least online it there have been worse updates in my opinion uh in terms of content that has been brought i'm not going to name them because i can't even remember what the numbers they were now um uh, because believe it or not this is now well actually was i, I believe my very first prime news was uh or very first ats prime news i should uh, specify uh was on one 1.37 I think or 1.36 we are now at 1.48 uh, so in the matter of a couple, a few years um, we have moved on quite a bit now I've been able to take more time now and uh, 
you know, I've developed a lot of things in the channel's really picked up speed over the last bit. Some people may, may think, well, you know, you've been at it for a few years, you think it could be higher. Well, it's the way life goes. And um, I've been working out. I haven't been able to, you know, it's, I've been within recent, until basically the last year, that I've really taken uh, a major step forward, at least in my opinion, um, quality wise, at least. Um, there have been a few things that have been implemented that basically night and day um, in terms of um, production quality and stuff like that. And uh, that's where I feel that the quality of the channel and to be honest, it's been proven with the numbers as unfortunate as they are to being um, so relevant in uh, how people enjoy stuff. They've proven that it has been a good decision on that front. I guess, could I have exited there? I, I thought I was supposed to come this way. I don't know. I guess we're going the long way around now. Oh, I probably could have exited there. Good old Prime missing the uh, GPS once again. Oh, well, we'll do the scenic route. This delivery has been long enough anyways. We might as well just uh, do the nice route around, but um, I think we are going to the port anyway, so this kind of makes sense uh, to well, you know, go around this way and not cut in the other way. None of the other trucks did it, so maybe I'm not completely wrong. I guess we'll see. Unless if I drive straight through the, uh, the port, then that would be an upsetting. Because then I did just drive, you know, through the port just to exit and go out again. But I don't think I'm doing that. I think we are all fine indeed. So let's go ahead and make our way through here. Through the port tolls. Even though we don't have to pay a toll on this area of the map, which is fantastic if you ask me. Don't mind that at all. I have gone out of my lane, but that's fine. I'll just follow the AI through here. Never a harm done in that. No, we'll just make our way around and head into the port. But no, numbers are unfortunate that they're so relevant for this kind of stuff. Oh, here we go. This is where we have to stop. I think. Oh, well. We'll, uh... We'll slow down and go through this way as well. I guess we could have gone around, but uh, I might as well wait at this point. Be part of the queue. That way I'm not a misfit. They're, they're unfortunate that they have to be so relevant, the numbers, but it's the way it is. And uh, we move on from there. Once again, channel's doing well. Thank you guys so much for supporting it. I enjoy doing every, uh, every moment of it. That's all that matters. I guess I don't really need to stop. I'll just uh, continue along here. I haven't had any info saying that I should. So uh, we're just going to uh, keep moseying on here. So yes. Oh, here we go. Now we're at the checkpoint. My word. Look at the kind of go over way scales and then checkpoints. And this is a whole ordeal. And at least I know now that this is the proper way to go, which was fantastic. Um, the GPS, I don't know if it really knows what I'm doing, but we're... Uh, not going to worry about that one. I'm hoping I'm actually taking this the right way. Did I completely miss my delivery point? No, no, no. We're fine. All right. Okay. Um, for some reason, I thought, you know, possibly um, it was supposed to go to a different point and I did take the wrong exit, but we're fine. We are going into the port, so um, we're all fine. At least we passed the security check. That would have been embarrassing if we would have done that. Um, imagine that. Got all the way here and then it's like, nah, you can't go in. You failed. That would have been beautiful. Great content. Unhappy Prime. I'll tell you that much right now. Uh, so let's make our way up in the, this way. Guess these cars are going on a bit of a boat mission. Um, what? Oh, it's actually a stop. Oops, sorry. <laughs> but why, why are we stopping here, though? We're in the middle of a... Oh, there's an exit maybe there? I don't know. Not questioning it. Actually, I am questioning it. What, who am I kidding? Um... Oh my, look at, look at these fellows go. They're special. Come on, go ahead. You can, you can, gee, maybe jam on the brakes much. Gotta love it. Gotta love it indeed. Bunch of cars out there. Maybe that's part of what I'm dropping off. Going into the shipping containers. I do not know. Huge port area here though. Bunch of Walbert containers spread across the, uh, the lot here. Uh, so we gotta follow this truck once again. Just like follow the leader here. Um, coming around this way. Yep. We're going down here. And where's my drop off point? Somewhere down on the left. 
Uh, I think it's on the back side over here. Let's just see. Yes, it is. It's right in there. Oh, there's a curb there. Nice. Good thing I've got this massive Texas bumper on the front, which is also part of the power hood update, may I say. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, there's a hood there. Um, or a hood there. Of course there's a hood there. Um, there's a, a curb there. Nice. Well, at least it's angled, so I could just kind of ramp it. That's totally legit. Um, okay, well, let's uh, go ahead and throw her in reverse and see what I can do. Um, I haven't lined this up brilliantly at all. Um, okay, forget this. I'm uh, I I'm abandoning ship already. Uh, that's that's a good start there, Prime. Come on. Um, okay, let's come up here at very least. And uh, we're going to try and cut this in a bit earlier. Follow those marks on the ground. That's kind of a hint for all... All of you people that are newer to the game, follow us, Phils, follow the marks on the ground, and that should generally help you out. Um, what I mean by the darker kind of tire marks. Uh, that should clear the posts? I'm going to hope so, because I am committing to this angle. Um, we're going to turn back now. I'm probably going to... Oh, there's that, there's that good old curb friend that I hit again. I guess we're going to go in that way. Um... Come on. I think I'm scraping up against said curb. Um, if not, it would have been very close. We're going to then move forward here. Um, and we're going to try and then go back. Um, kind of more straight-ish. For a little bit. And let's see if I can see on that side. There we go. We're going to try and angle this guy in now. Let's see if we can... Reverse this semi-legit. It's already been kind of jank, to be honest. So, might as well just finish the whole, the whole thing off here. But hey, it's actually coming along. It's coming along. I'm gonna try not to scrape it up against the um, shipping containers on the inside. But saying that, I don't own the trailer, so I don't really care. And to be honest, I think I already am kind of scraping the life out of it. Oh, it is awfully close, and I'm not gonna hit the truck. But I think I've actually done it, you know. I have actually done it. I've actually parked it a bit closer so people can still drive through there semi-legit. And if I would have known, I could have actually driven down this alley. But hey-ho, um, you live and you learn. What a delivery that has been. Thank you guys so much for watching. Great to be here in the, well, I guess going from Texarkana was the newer bit. And then down here into Houston was the revised trailer for the cars. Very nice indeed in this Western Star 49X. A good old truck indeed. I've got a bunch more stuff planned here for ATS, so keep an eye out here on the channel for all that good stuff. Once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.